Hey guys, listen up real quick. So these Shopify gurus out there have a vested interest in convincing you that there is a Shopify opportunity out there that's a gold mine, that's so easy that anyone can do it, but it's just not true. Now, I don't have any vested interest in selling you any Shopify courses, so I feel like I'm a pretty unbiased party here. So what does this Shopify income opportunity look like? Let's go through it. So as of the last quarter in 2020, there's a reported estimate of 1.8 million merchants on Shopify. And out of those 1.8 million, about 175,000 are making $100,000 in sales per year. Well, I know you guys are like probably thinking uh, 175,000 out of 1.8 million is not a lot, but 100K in sales sounds pretty good, right? Well, problem is that sales revenue does not equal profit. Profit is what you take home after subtracting costs from sales revenue. Those costs include expenses for products, paid advertising, market research, and so on. So this gets whittled down to between 10 to 25% profit margin. Now on the conservative side, let's say that the profit margin is 15%. So for the 175,000 merchants making 100K in sales a year, they're only making $15,000 in profit per year. That amount of money is equivalent to the salary of a full-time McDonald's employee. The only difference is that McDonald's guarantees a salary and Shopify does not. So only 10% of Shopify merchants make as much as a McDonald's employee. And since most people go on Shopify looking for a full-time income, making only 15K a year is pretty terrible. Now let's say you're selling more. Now you are selling $250,000 in sales and the profit you're making is $40,000 a year. Only the top 5% of merchants on Shopify achieve this. Making $40,000 a year is equivalent to the full-time salary of a cashier at Costco. Now to be making the salary of a plumber, you're gonna have to be doing between $400,000 to $500,000 in sales per year. Year, and only the top 2% of sellers achieve this on Shopify. Keep in mind that the plumber makes an average salary of $55,000 a year, and the top 2% of Shopify store owners make $55,000 a year, only 2%. If you join Shopify, you'll be lucky if you can get into the top 10% of sellers. The other 90% are making way less than that, like most are not even making anything at all. So to make as much as a McDonald's employee, you have to be in the top 10%. To make as much as a Costco employee, you have to be in the top 5%. To make as much as a plumber, you have to be in the top 2%, guys. Now, all of these laptop lifestyle gurus claim that they make millions from Shopify alone. Well, let's calculate how much do you need to do in sales to make $1 million a year in profit. You need to make an estimate of around five to six million dollars in sales a year or more. And you only have a 0.05% chance of doing that. Now let's say that even though on Shopify you don't have a personal brand or your own private labels, let's say you get incredibly lucky and you make millions. Well, someone can use any software out there and just copy your store immediately. There is absolutely no barrier to entry on Shopify. And when the supplier, the person who ships the product on Alibaba notices that you're selling a thousand units a week, they're going to look into it. And then after a few months, they'll cut you off completely and just start selling the product themselves after copying your store. Even worse, someone who has an Amazon FBA store will copy your product and sell it. And of course, that's going to be even worse for you because Amazon has one to two day shipping and Shopify, their shipping takes one to two weeks. And most Shopify products, as you know, are seasonal or just one hit wonders. Like after a few months, they just die and they're not good quality products at all, to put it in nice terms. At least on Amazon, you'll have a brand that people can recognize and trust. They'll keep buying from you and you'll still get tons of traffic on Amazon. And even if Amazon does kick you off, you'll have a backup email list of all the customers who want to invest more in your products and you'd redirect them to a new website
website you just made. So you'll never lose any money even after that. With Shopify, you don't have a brand. You're just making a quick web page with a quick offer for a product that everybody else is already selling because everyone knows how to find products on Alibaba. Shopify is probably the worst business model to get into besides MLMs. It's even worse than Amazon FBA. These Shopify gurus on YouTube overrepresent how great Shopify is and they fake statistics so that they can sell you a course and get rich off of you. That's how they get rich. You're far better off starting your own guru course than selling on Shopify. I think you are far more likely to make millions of dollars doing that. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little talk, a little Shopify reality check. Just be careful and know what you're getting yourselves into. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.